Grade 3 math, number 62. Two-step problems. Not the kind of dance two-step. These are problems that you have to do two parts, two steps to them. In a two-step problem, you need to solve one part first, then the second part. So, let's see what we've got here. We've got some word problems here. Emma bought three packs of gum. Okay? Her friend gave her two pieces. Now Emma has 17 pieces of gum. How many pieces are in each pack? How would we solve this? Well, the first thing we need to do is identify the important numbers. Okay? Sometimes there's numbers in a word problem that aren't important and they're this, just there to trick you. In this case, though, each one of these is important. So we know we've got three packs of gum and we know her friend gave her two pieces and now she has 17 pieces. What we need to do is, we need to take the 17 and subtract the 2. Seven take away 2 is 5, and drop the 1. Now we have 15. So now that we've taken away the 2 that her friend gave us, we know that these three packs of gum have 15 pieces in them. So what we need to do is say 15 divided by 3 equals what? What is 15 divided by 3? Do you know? Do you know what something times 3 equals 15? It's 5. 5, 10, 15. So each of these packs has 5 pieces of gum in them. See? So how many pieces are in each pack? The answer is 5. See? See how we had to do two sections of this. First we had to do subtraction, then we had to do division. That's a two-part problem. Okay, so let's look at this one. Emma got two bags of cookies from her mother, then she got one bag of cookies from her father. Now she has 18 cookies. How many cookies are in each bag? Alright, she's got two bags of cookies. Okay? And she's got one bag of cookies. So we need to add those. Two plus one equals three. Okay. Now she has 18 cookies. There's 18 cookies in these three bags. And we need to find out how many cookies are in each bag. So we need to do 18 divided by three. Let's put cookies in each bag and see how we can go to 18. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. How many cookies are in each bag? 6. So what we had to do is first we had to add the number of bags together and then we had to divide to find out that there's six cookies in each bag. All right, this one's a little trickier, so pay attention, okay? Lisa cut a ribbon into, here's the ribbon, and she cut it into two equal pieces right here, the second one right here. She cut four inches. off of one of the pieces. And now that piece that's left is five inches long. What was the length of the original ribbon? Okay, well, we cut four inches off, right? See that? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say 5 plus 4 to put that one back together. 5 plus 4 equals 9. So if this side is 9 and she cut it into equal pieces, how long do you think this side is? This side is 9 inches. This side is 9 inches because she cut it into equal pieces. See? 
So now we have to add this piece to this piece, and we've got 9 plus 9 equals 18 inches. It's very important you put the inches. You've got to label your answers. What if it was horseshoes or uh, tennis balls? You want to know that it was inches, okay? So in a two-step problem, you want to solve one part of it and then solve the other part with that information that you got, okay? Sometimes drawing pictures helps, like in this one it certainly did. So don't feel bad about drawing a picture to help you figure something out. That's a very good way to solve a word problem. And don't forget to identify or circle the important numbers, okay? That's a two-step problem. I'll see you next video. Keep going and keep doing the good work you are doing. I'll see you next time. Bye.